The sheriff's office announced nine people involved in Operation Wrap Up at a news conference Tuesday. Sheriff. Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about none other than Pooh Shiesty. Now, Pooh Shiesty shocked a lot of people yesterday because he made a post, man, that had a lot of people scratching their head as far as his affiliations in the rap game. Now, Pooh Shiesty is one of the most famous rappers in the game right now as far as the young and up-and-comers, man. Nobody's lyrics are being quoted more than his from Back in Blood. That's that's fact. Or, man, let me, let me think about it that maybe it's Lil Durk's verse saying Pooh Shiesty's name that's the most quoted lyric but anyways man Pooh Shiesty recently dropped a joint man a, a song with some folks that you would think that he would be clicked up I mean that are the ops of some folks you think he'd be clicked up with and man it's throwing a lot of fans off now before we get into that we're also going to talk about something else as well we're going to be talking about a rapper from Dallas by the name of Beto now Beto is an interesting figure, man. He's got affiliations with Go Yayo and a couple of other rap artists from Dallas that are highly controversial right now and names are floating around. But man, there's a video going around online and it looks like Beto is running down or pulling out or in a standoff with some folks in a car, man. And it's really crazy to see. So we're going to talk about that and be Beto's response to the video being leaked. And man, before we do all that, we before we get to the specifics, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And man, let's get it. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's first talk about Pooh Shiesty. So Pooh Shiesty recently took to social media to show a picture of him dropping a brand new song, and it's actually with some of Young and Ace's alleged ops, man. Some cats that have been dissing Young and Ace, they've been going back and forth as far as on the, you know, on the music tip. Now, as far as the streets, man, you know what it is, man, as far as Young and Ace and Jacksonville, how things are separated or whatnot. You got Julio Fulio in them with Spot'em Got him in them. You got YNR Mookie. And now you got, you know, Slugger T. Now, Slugger T and YNR Mookie were a part of Operation Wrap Up, which took place in Jacksonville about two years ago, man. It was a very big deal, a huge operation to take uh, take down the gangs that were actually affiliated, or excuse me, the alleged gangs that were allegedly affiliated with some of the rap crews in Jacksonville that were blowing up. Now, Obviously, a lot of those rappers today are now starting to become stars. You know, they've evolved as far as rap and stuff. And, you know, they started to leave the street stuff alone a little bit. But it seems like Slugger T and YNR Mookie, man, they're still locked up and paying the price for, you know, being involved in the early stages of Jacksonville rap. And, you know, I should say Jacksonville drill rap as it started to gain ascension. Now, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, or you just need a quick refresher. Here's a clip from the news story about Operation Wrap Up. This video shows the suspects pointing guns at the camera, threatening rival gangs, according to the sheriff. The title of the video is Young and Ace Diss. Young and Ace is a local rapper named Kenyatta Bullard, who was a sole survivor in a deadly drive-by shooting on Town Center Parkway last June. Investigators say the suspects involved in Operation Wrap-Up are connected to other violent crimes in Jacksonville. The individuals in these videos are responsible for shootings, and we're still looking at uh, and won't comment on any ongoing investigations, but the groups they're affiliated with are some of those violent in the city, and these individuals are some of those violent people in those groups. Okay, now you saw in that news clip that YNR Mookie and Slugger T, they were definitely on that poster board. Like, they was like some of the lead people in the investigation. And since they're still locked up, right? Now, there's a lot of rumors floating around, especially social media, about their affiliations and things like that. We don't get into all that over here, but to be real... I'd be remiss not to say that, you know, they don't, they don't get along with Young and Ace. I mean, even in the news clip, it basically said Young and Ace diss was their, like, biggest song at that time, right? So, since Slugger T has been locked up, there's been a lot of rumors about him, man. Because, I mean, obviously he sticks out of the crew like a sore thumb. Not to say that has anything to do with his validity in the streets or anything like that. But he, he's gone viral a couple of times making some claims about him and his run-ins with Queso while they've been locked up. Now, a lot of people have refuted those claims. But it's just odd to see how Pooh Shiesty did, did a track with these cats. Now, that's not to say that Pooh Shiesty can't do a, a paid feature. But on the post, he said this right here. As you see right here, Pooh Shiesty put free him and basically posted the, the uh, 
I guess the cover, the artwork for this song, and it's called Murder Twins Remix featuring Pooh Shiesty. And this just all right, man. It's interesting to say the least because Pooh Shiesty, for all, for all intents and purposes, I thought him, Young and Ace, all those guys were clicked up with like the whole King Von side of things and stuff like that. Now, I might be looking too much into this, but I mean, they posted this on their page as well too, but it looks like, man, he's definitely got an alliance in the city of Jacksonville besides Young and Ace and them. I don't know. What do you guys think, man? Or am I missing something here? Tell me wh what you guys think about Pooh Shicey dropping a song with Young and Ace's ops. Okay, next, let's talk about a Dallas rapper you guys might not be familiar with. Now, Beto, man, he's well known in the Dallas rap circles, man. His name has been all wrapped up in the Mo3 controversy. I'm talking about ever since that first video or picture of the shooter, alleged shooters, excuse me, came out that, you know, that the police had provided, everybody was throwing Beto's name around like it was crazy. I mean, he even had to go out himself and say, hey, man, quit putting my name in this, man. And it's been in there ever since, man. A lot of people keep throwing Beto, Beto's name in the mix as far as Mo3 because of his affiliations with a lot of other rappers in Dallas. One specifically being Go Yayo and some other cats, man. Now, to be honest, Beto just does his music thing and it seems like his social media is pretty active. But something, man, had his, had his page blowing up yesterday because there was a video of a guy and it looked like Beto, and basically, he was in an armed kind of standoff with some folks. He was like pointing the blicky at some, at some people and then yelling at them and letting them know what time it is. And everybody was passing this around saying it was Beto, man. Now, Beto must have seen this himself. So he went to social media and was like, man, because the dude looks so much like Beto, it's crazy. I mean, they like, that could be his, his twin or something like that, man. But I mean, the dreads, everything, like... Even Beto commented, which is funny, basically saying he had to do a double tape because he thought that was him as well. So, man, let's look at this dude's picture. Now, if you look at the guy who's who's got the weapon out, right, and you look at Beto, you're like, man, are, are we sure that's not him? Is he not just covering it up for himself? But he made this post right here. All right, so you see in this post from Beto right here, he says this basically. He says, it's not B, but I thought it was, with a whole bunch of laughing emojis. And, you know, you can see the picture of the guy. And the guy looks just like Beto, man. And that is odd. It's weird that you could have somebody out there who kind of is like your doppelganger, man. Somebody who looks just like you to a point. Now, I did some research in the, the video actually surfaced from somebody in Columbus, Ohio. I'm not sure if the incident took place there, but that's what it seems like allegedly. You know what I mean? Now, Beto took it on the chin and, and just laughed about it, man, and posted it. But man, you could see where something like that could get somebody, especially a rapper, caught up. Now, what do you guys think about this whole situation, man? Especially the situation with Pooh Shiesty. Do you think Pooh Shiesty doing a track with Young and Ace's Ops is like, man, is any has any harm or effect on their relationship or do you think just a paid feature is a paid feature and there really ain't nothing to look into with that now what do you think about this Beto situation man do you think it's just weird that somebody's out here looking like Beto getting into you know all, armed standoffs with people or whatnot there ain't no way to dress it up it was just an armed standoff and it's a longer video than you would think you can search it on the net man it's very it's it's interesting to say the least because dude is barking and telling people what he's about, and then he ends up going back in the store, which is which is good because it ended in a safe in, without anybody getting hurt, I should say. Now, with that, this has been your boy, Big Man. Please do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you get a notification every time I drop this hot content. And we out of here. Peace.